to my weekly postings about federal jobs. Um, posting this series because I'll get a lot of questions from people. And also I've observed some of the federal job type of content on YouTube and I never seen a breakdown of, well, I've seen people refer to things. I don't see them giving the actual like uh, physical representation of the information they're verbally speaking about. Some of us are learners where we hear stuff, some of us need to see stuff. So that's why I'm referring to things and I will post a link to different websites so you can look on your own. I get contacted by a lot of people um, because they know I work for the federal government. They're asking uh, various questions and it seems like uh, I just need to compile it like on a video and try to give all the resources so you can further look into it for yourself. So I wanted to talk about KSAs. KSAs means knowledge, ability, and skills. Knowledge, skills, and ability. What knowledge do you have for a federal position? For me, I'm under workers' compensation. I'm knowledgeable about workers' compensation policies and procedures. I'm, I'm knowledgeable about how to do a light duty contract. So when somebody has a medical restriction, I can help return them to work. Uh, my skills are collaborating, communicating, detail-oriented skills. I have the ability to do a bunch of different things, but mainly work as a team member, collaborate with supervisors, collaborate with workers' compensation um, claim examiners. Those are my KSAs. And this website that I'm referring to, I'm going to make sure that you get this after my short spill on it. And it's a great website because this person breaks down uh, resumes, how to write a cover letter for the government, et cetera. But for this uh, video, I wanted to talk about KSAs and how to write answers for your KSAs because this will come up in your interview, okay? Number one, you need to write keywords from the job announcement that pertains to all requirements and qualifications. You want to incorporate those keywords into your KSA. Um, two, you identify factors related to your job requirements. And three, you are talking about your pertinent. You got to think about this. What are your pertinent skills and experience? Not only from paid positions, but from volunteering, um, and other things that you've done over the years. All of that counts when it comes to the federal government. So it's not just what you got paid to do in a position, but also your volunteerism are transferable skills that they're looking at as well. And write your responses like in a spreadsheet or something, because later in the process, you may have an actual interview where you need to refer to what is your knowledge, what is your skills, and what are your abilities. Further in this, this series of videos, I will try to address how to get through that pesky, um, not pesky, but it's a particular type of response that you have to make to um, learning the STAR method. The STAR method is a certain method that you go through when you go to the, the federal um, interviews. So I am going to cover the STAR method because it's something that you're going to encounter. So let me know if you ever heard of KSAs in the comments. Did you know about it before this video? Uh, if you've applied for federal jobs, um, you know, what has been your experience regarding, you know, getting through uh, the process, applying for things, have I mentioned anything that you're just now learning? Because when I went through the process, I didn't know too, I didn't know too much, and it took me years to get into the federal government. I started my federal, um, I guess, application process probably in 2018, and then I got series in 2022. So it was about four years where I was just like working a regular job, and I always wanted to go to the federal level. I didn't know, and I have family members who worked in the federal government, but I never even asked them <laughs> any questions about their process. But anyway, um, go ahead and, you know, if you have any questions down in the comments, let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. Be well.